that are left with protection um, with the federal government and all, also along with these passage of the bills, all of our rights were extinguished in, um, in the record matter of, of time. Never before, like we've always dealt with uh, genocide and residential schools, sterilization, the 16th scoop, all these things that we've gone through as a, a people in uh, Canada, we share that. We share that with indigenous people across the world. Our friends, our brothers and sisters, the Maori in New Zealand, the Aborigines, they were relocated. They were stolen from their land and, re and placed somewhere else. We all have these things in common. Inter intergenerational trauma, the history of genocide and all that that comes with it and what we're saying as first nations that we actually are human we're not dead we're not a romanticized novel we're real people and we still love live off the land i go fishing i go hunting and i want my children to have that just like you want your children to have clean water you want them to be able to go and harvest and get the squash and get the beans and all of that. And for us in Canada, they're saying, no, you can't even do that. That reservation that you're on is gone. We're taking all your rights away from you. You have no voice, you're dead, and they're completing their termination of the First Nations and the Indigenous people in Canada. That's been the plan from day one, we know that. So what we're dealing with now is just saying, actually as indigenous people, we do have rights, we're human beings. We have titlements and a right to that land that we have been living on for 10,000 and more years. That we have chiefs, that we have a sophisticated um, structure and you know all of that, our religion, our songs, our potlatches, these are very sophisticated, like look at the Mayans, look at all of these nations that have extraordinary monuments to civilization. But for some reason, we're, we're deemed as non-existent. And we're just here today to say, actually the earth has rights, the water has rights, people have rights, Indian women have rights, our children have rights, and you just can't take that away from us, you know? We were there long before the government came in. Just like you all have your your Pueblo, your you know, your nineteen Pueblos and your governors, and they sacrifice and they put the environment first. They don't have family life, they don't have time. They they work all four years for their people. And what's Harper doing? He said he came in and he took it all away. He said, No, uh, you have no rights to your fishing or your hunting or your seaweed picking or your oligan grease or nothing none of that and i'm just saying that no it's not okay all of you have voices everyone can participate it's not an indian thing it's an environmental thing it's a human thing because we all need water we all need food we all need our kids to be safe and not drink that crap that's dumped into our rivers right now with the pipelines coming in. I deserve to be a human being and to be treated just like everybody else does. And what Harper and that government is saying is no, you're nothing. I'm taking your land and we're putting these pipes in. And you know what? With tsunami warnings and earthquakes, do you really think pipe, pipelines and super tankers full of oil is really good? I don't really think that's a smart business move. But they know that the oil is running out. That's why they said, we'll just pass all these bills and sweep all these people off to the side like we usually have done. The history 500 years of doing that. So we're just saying, no, you have a right. All the women, all the children, all the men, we all have to come together and just say, no, we have a right to be together. We have a right to dance and to drum wherever we want because this is occupied and it was occupied before y'all came over here from Europe. So oh. thank you so much for your time.
thank you for coming in a good way with good energy and love in your heart because the people that were here today were meant to be here, I believe. You came from Albuquerque, you came from your Pueblo from far away or just, you know, you made it here after a long, boring meeting and you made a statement. You said you cared about something other than yourself and I appreciate that. My name is Olson Luxkeek and I am from the Simpson and Carrier Nations of British Columbia, Canada and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.